once again mga boss, this is the continuation of part 1, hence this is part 2, hence this is part 2 and in this episode, we are going to compare the stock pro start and the aftermarket pro start and also in this episode, we are going to install our easy start pro start so, 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 without further ado, let's roll intro! We have already removed our pull start, but this is not the original handle. However, this particular piece is not a stock Genoa GT32 pull start handle. This little piece here is the stock Genoa handle pull start handle. See the difference? This is a handle for a chainsaw and a little bit bigger. So it could fit your hand without having any blisters. This is too big for, for its mechanism. This is the stock and this is a stock pull start handle from a chainsaw. Then this stock Genoa GT32 pull start handle. Now to compare the aftermarket pull start handle, this is the stock pull start handle and this is the aftermarket pull start handle. The aftermarket pull start handle very ergonomic and it fits naturally to your hands. Now this stock Genoa pull start handle, the way it functions or the way it works is that there is a claw that upon pulling the string, it, so it engages the teeth in the flywheel. That's why before you will pull, you have to feel if the teeth have already engaged the flywheel. Now the difference between the aftermarket pull start is that it does not have many moving parts, hence less likely in breaking. The way it works is that this dog bone mechanism is always engages in the teeth of the pull start. However, because of the spring, it can only engage one way. So if you pull, it engages. The moment that you will return the pull start, that clicking sound means that it allows the teeth to move without engaging the flywheel that is why it is a just one way mechanism that's why you are going to hear some clicking sound there is a lot of easy start pull start mechanism in the market today but this one it uses the stock flywheel and does not need any more uh, modification in the flywheel uh, the other design of the easy start pull start is that you have to uh, you have to machine cut the teeth of the flywheel in order for you to accommodate the dog but in this design the flywheel nut lock is much longer so that it will not uh, interfere with the flywheel teeth so it is a lot longer and the way you install this is you're going to remove the nut and insert it to the bolt and then the dog bone will be inserted in the nut on top of the flywheel so we are going to install so at this juncture we are going to install our easy start to start to our Zenova G320 the first thing that we will do is we are going to remove our spark plug so that we can put the piston stop or if you don't have a piston stop, you can use the nylon cord but today we are going to use our piston stop so by removing the spark plug, we use our spark plug wrench so using our piston stop we are going to insert our piston stop so we have already removed our flywheel nut and we are going to replace our flywheel nut with the aftermarket flywheel nut we're going to in insert it in the belt that is currently uh, the flywheel has been attached on so this is a 13 millimeter bolt or nut this is a this is a 13 millimeter nut and this is a 12 millimeter nut so i'm just going to tighten it After we have tightened our nut, we are going to install our metal bolt. 
make sure that it is flush. After our metal dog, we are going to attach the tension hub so that the flywheel will fit the full stop symbol. We are going to insert the four nut. using a 2.5 x So we have completed installing our aftermarket full start and now we are going to install the engine to test our test for the first time our aftermarket pull start so now after we have installed our um, aftermarket pull start you can notice that there is uh, it, uh, the pull start is slightly bigger it is eating a lot of space compared to the space being taken up by the um, original pull start as you can see as you can see the space difference now um, before there, there is a one inch um, gap between the steering stand it is being reduced to more or less half an inch <clears throat> so we will go outside to test the aftermarket post start uh, whether or not it is a good buy or it is a bust this way so we're going to turn on the transmitter as well as the receiver and prime the carburetor make sure that there is no, no more bubbles so we are going to pull the full start for the very first time so <clears throat> second time we will pull the full start Start one more time. Easy start, full start. Before anything else, I would like to inform you that the, the extended pull start is having binding problems with the center drive shaft so in order to remedy this we are going to buy the easy start pull start with the machine cut flywheel so it will not protrude anymore and cause a binding issue so that's it for our episode please comment like or share because it will help out a lot our channel so that's that this has been Dato Ogista Gunilong for SRHC channel sports and hobbies edition let's go let's go let's go let's go